Hey guys, I have a really quick Kroger haul. Um, because I'm just gonna make some chicken tonight, and then one night I'm gonna make some chicken and dumplings. But, anyways, let me show you what I got. I had this chicken for five dollars for each of these, which is pretty good. It's got two of those. I got some potatoes, and I got some uh, whipping cream, some cream of chicken, Velveeta cheese, and some butter. Finally found this, the coconut cream, zero sugar creamer. It's my favorite, so I got two of those. Got some um, macaroni and then two of these chicken broths. So I started my first day today at my new work. It's the same place, but it's just a different area. And I had to be at by three o'clock, had to be there by five. Yeah, it's been a long day, but I got off early today. I get off at 2.45, but it's rough when you don't get enough sleep. And you have to get up and go. So, hopefully I'll get adjusted to that. Anyways, I'll get back with the ends in a minute. Hey, y'all. So, I'm going to be making this chicken. And I'm going to let y'all come along with me while I cook. I'm literally tired. Been working all day. But I figure I'll come home and make some chicken, mashed potatoes, and macaroni, and green beans. But anyway, so, I normally would line this with a um, aluminum foil. But I don't have one in the foil. Can't find it. So, we're just going to put these drumsticks in here. Oops. Like so. I know, Opal, you're wanting out. Just give Mommy a minute, sis. Okay, y'all, I hope everybody's doing good today. I have just, I think my anxiety level's up because it's the same job that I'm working at, but it's a different area and new people change and new time frame that I have to go to work. I have to be there, like I said, at five in the morning. So I have to get up super early. Go to bed super early and I'm not a morning person and I didn't sleep worth a freaking dime last night. Right when I started getting some good sleep around two-ish, it was three, so. And then I had to go to my other area to get some stuff where I used to work at. Got all the way there, was about to go and clock in, left my badge at home. I changed, I normally carry that big pink thing. Um, and y'all, when I changed my, um, what do you call it, thing to put your your food in, um, lunchbox, changed my lunchbox, lunchbox and the new one that I got at the Walmarts and completely forgot that I had put my badge in my pink box. Normally I put it in the console, but for whatever reason, Thursday I didn't. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, my anxiety level today is out of this world. I just feel really stressed, tired. You ever just get burned out? And that's, I just feel burned out. And I just do. I don't, I don't know. But it's going to be okay. It's like, it's okay for me to feel this way. I can feel my emotions. I know people's like, you shouldn't feel that way. Like on here, people's like, you complain too much. But you know what? This is my life. And I do get stressful sometimes. And today is one of those days where I'm just, I'm just stressful. And I don't like it. I know that God has a plan in my life on where he wants me. Uh, but I'm at that road in life where it's like you have the dead end roads and you don't know which way to go and I'm speaking on a work perspective here I just don't know and that's that's what I'm dealing with I'm having burnout and I have these onions that I had set up um
But y'all just say a pray prayer for me and pray that I do the right thing and where I need to go in my work situation. I'm just tired, like. I'm mentally and physically tired with stuff. And I know, like I said, I know the Lord has a plan in my life. Um, but at the same time, Lord, like, it seems like stuff goes good for a while. And then it's like, I don't know. What kind is this? Kicking? Oh, no. Y'all, it's good, but it's freaking kicking, like it says. Woo! I better not add a ho ho lot of that. <clears throat> I do have this little bit left from <coughs> Buddy's Barbecue from the other night. I ordered a family pack. I don't want to waste all that, so I'm just putting that in there. But those of you that have worked, and I'm sure most, if not all, have worked. I know some people can't, but due to their health. But do you ever just get burned out? I'm just... <coughs> some of the... Hang on. It's just like so many fake people out here in this world. And it just... I don't know. And I see the things going on in like Israel and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, it's a lot to take in because I know that, you know, the Lord is getting ready to come back soon. But people just don't care anymore for one another. They do not care. And it's like, people like throwing people under the bus just to get ahead, like in their work situation. And just like, I don't get it, but... I know that my heart and soul don't, like, I don't feel like I'm, like, I don't feel like it's a home for me, like, a place that, don't get me wrong, it's, it, I, like, I'm making money, I, I'm doing good and everything like that, and everything's good, but I just don't feel like it's for me anymore, and <clears throat> it's just hard, y'all, it's hard, um, but God has a plan, and I know that, but I have been going through it since Thursday and I don't know but anyways I'm gonna put this in the uh, uh the oven and bake it for about lord I don't know how long until it's done um and then I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and macaroni and corn or uh green beans and I'll bring you guys along guys I can't find my other knife um my smaller knife and so I'm having to use this knife and I hope it does pretty good. Every time I cut taters, I think of my mama. So I'm gonna cut these up. My mamma could really cut these really fast, y'all. And I'd be like, how does she do that? And she would use a great big old knife, bigger than this one. <clears throat> I don't know, but like, guys... <clears throat> My spirit and soul has just been really sad here lately. Um, and I hate it. <coughs> Man, that spicy stuff's really got me. 
I just, I know it's the change of my work situation and um, just change the fall, like the seasons changing too. When it, when it gets fall, like I start feeling like this, but when I have all these changes, I don't, I do not do well with change. And a lot of that stems from losing my fa my parents at a young age and it just I don't know if it like triggers something in me like anxiety but unexpected change I don't like <clears throat> but the Lord's never left me and he's always been there so I'm just going to keep moving forward even when I don't feel like walking I'm gonna keep pressing because I know that Jesus hasn't brought me this far just to leave me here and I know that <clears throat> and I also know that there's tons of other people out there in this world that's going through worse you know things in their life like these people in Israel that are getting blowed up and you know just freaking chaotic mess in the world that we're living in. And I'm sorry that this is a Debbie Downer video, but y'all, I'm really actually just doing good to even filming. And I'm just forcing myself to do this because I do enjoy doing this, but it brings more income for me and my family. So I just got to press on through. I do know that I got an email or a notification saying that I'm getting my other Timu package tomorrow. So that's exciting. And y'all, I am looking a hot mess, but it's all good. I've been up since three. And like I said, I didn't sleep hardly any last night. Because going to unknown territory work enforcement and just like not knowing the people. Crap, I didn't get that. There we go. And I have one of my nephews <clears throat> here, so I'm just gonna make extra potatoes, cause And this probably ain't gonna be a whole lot of talking video because I really don't have a whole lot to say. I've just, <clears throat> I've really been in a blah mood here lately and I'm trying to dig my way out of it. I am not a person to be like this by no means. I am normally positive in every situation and I'm still trying to be positive. <clears throat> but like I said, I have been My emotions are, have just been everywhere here lately. And I just don't have a whole lot to say. And I'm going to have to rinse these off when I get done. I was rinsing them before, but I lost track of doing that. These freaking potatoes are dirty. Gross.
<clears throat> and you know, in life, it makes it so much harder when you don't have a mother or father. And I hardly ever hear from any of my family. Like, I'm being truthful. Like, I don't, I have my kids and they're my life, but it makes it even much harder when you, you are in the shape that I'm in with, with family situations and, um, And I know by now, y'all are probably like, well, you should be used to that by now. Honey, when when you have things come up in your life, it makes it worse. You miss your family more. You want to have somebody to be there to help you and, you know, your family, your flesh and blood to comfort you. And <clears throat> when you don't have that, it's hell. And I've had my brother on my mind, but I've not been able to go see him because I've not been in a a good place in my soul right now. I mean, I am, but I'm just going through some stuff and I don't want to deal with that because it makes me that much more depressed and I just can't deal with it. I just, I can't deal with this crap. I love my brother, but the things that he does when I go there and I'm always having to get cigarettes and crap like that and i'm just i'm not doing it no more i'll get him food or whatever but as far as the other stuff you know he can deal with it because he is not the only one struggling and by no means And that, that's just how I'm, I don't even think I've been there in about two months now. I can't even remember when I went there last, but I just, I can't do it no more. Not right now anyways. Got too much going on in my life. You know, being a single parent, their dad helps. He does child support and everything like that, but still... Being in my place in my life and not, you know, like doing everything along it, it's hard and it gets overwhelming sometimes. It gets, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I don't, um, it just gets rough sometimes. And <clears throat> I think I just carry myself so well when something hits me, it hits me freaking hard. And I don't like this place. And I will get out of it. I don't like change. Like where I worked at, I was really good friends with Judy and still I still am. But when I'm around these people, they're like my family. That's like I've known them for two years. And, you know, you go from being with, you know, people that you care for for 10 hours a day. I don't know. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <clears throat> but it's okay because change sometimes can be a good thing, but sometimes change can shake your world up. And like I said, I know Jesus has a plan and I've got to trust him in it and stop mumbling, but my heart hurts sometimes. <clears throat> Do you ever just feel so nervous sometimes that like you're not shaking like, I mean, I am a little bit. But like, do you ever just feel like your body's shaking inside? Does that make sense? Like your nerves? That's where I've been today. Just new surroundings and trying to find the place where I'm supposed to go to. And I wouldn't have even cooked tonight, but I feel I felt like it, a, a nice home cooked meal would help, and my kids would like it. So here I am, 
doing this. <clears throat> so I'm just going to wash these off here and then I'm going to let them sit in cold water until I... Until the chicken's almost done and then I'll start on the other stuff. It has been so cold today. Like, oh my goodness, I froze so much, y'all. I was like, the majority of my time was outside today and it was so cold. I'm enjoying the, the fall weather, but today, man, it was cold. So I'm going to layer tomorrow, probably. I'm going to layer. It works. <clears throat> you know that sound um, that says... Um, Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. That's what we got to hope and pray for. New days, new beginnings, and the Lord's going to help each of us. And we just got to keep the faith. We have to. All right, so I'll get back with you shortly. Okay, I have these green beans. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I would normally put bacon in these, but I, I have bacon, but it's not bad. So. Add two of these beef bouillon cubes. my green beans. I'm going to add some onion powder. Garlic. And some good old pepper. Okay, so I decided, here they are. I found my other barbecue sauce, not the hot con. This is the one that I thought that I had and I didn't get it. And I put that hot on there. So I'm hoping that it ain't going to be too hot. Um, I might add some of that honey to it. Just a little bit of honey. Just a little bit of chicken. But I'm going to go ahead and cook some corn too. skills to vlog cooking but i'm trying i'm also going to add a big old thing full of um butter because that's a lot of corn all of that corn beans are starting to cook real good so i'm going to take and drop them down to about a four of the chicken out and i'm going to add some more barbecue sauce and i also drained um some of this water off it's hard doing this with one hand, especially with my daggum left hand. Ooh, wee. This chicken looks good. I love some fried chicken, don't y'all? Or baked chicken. So I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna add on the macaroni. Just gonna add the whole box. And then there's the green beans, the potatoes, the corn. I should have got some rows, but I didn't. I'll have this cheese here and 
hang up. I'm gonna go ahead and get these op opened up. That way I can just put them in and go. This, these are just the Velveeta cheese. And as much as I cook, it's probably gonna take almost all of it, if not all. I've got those potatoes boiling hard. I need to turn them down, y'all. So I swept in here, wiped the tables off, the countertops in here while this was cooking. And I fed the cat. And I went out there and checked on the chickens. I gave them some more scraps. And we'll see how this is. I might have to use the rest of it. But around here, we like our mac and cheese. Cheesy. So look at all that. There's still this much left. And I burnt my finger, y'all. First things first. Got a little, do a little taste test of this cheese. Mmm. I love I cheese. Going, but I added um, pepper, uh, garlic powder, and I added butter. I don't know if I got that part. I'm trying to do this with one hand, and I totally forgot to hit start on my camera, but it's okay. And now we're going to add some heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna stir this up. Go ahead and add all of the other rest of the cheese in there because it just needed to be a little bit more cheesier, y'all. Just saying. Well, there is the chicken and the macaroni and cheese. Got the green beans, the mashed potatoes, and the corn. There it is. These look amazing, y'all. Look at this. Look how cheesy. Perfect. I'm having a feeling that those taters don't have enough butter in them. I don't know. I'm we'll have to see. Let me do a little taste test, shall we? Mmm. They could use a little bit more, but they're good and creamy, so that'll do my food i can't wait to eat about to watch this winnie the pooh blood and honey i think it's a new one it says 2023 and about to watch that y'all